Selecting Medical Subject Headings for your PubMed search. This tutorial is brought to you by the Lister Hill Library of the Health Sciences at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. For this search, we're going to work on this clinical question. Does cognitive behavior therapy reduce anxiety in children with autism spectrum disorders? We can use the PICO format to help us identify the key concepts and terms in our question. In this example, our patient population is children with autism spectrum disorders. Our intervention is cognitive behavior therapy. In this case, we don't have a comparison intervention, and the outcome we hope for is reduced anxiety. This PICO format helps us create a nice list of our initial search terms. Once you have these initial search terms, you should try to think if there are any other synonyms for the terms and add those to your list. For example, we might want to consider adding the word stress to our list here for a synonym for anxiety. I encourage you to keep a working list of search terms like this. As you search, you can cross out terms that aren't working and add new terms that you come across. Let's go into PubMed now and start searching. For a basic PubMed search, you might enter your search terms like this. Let's take a look at the search details to see how PubMed translated this search. You can do this by looking underneath Search Details on the right side of the page. You can click See More to get a more detailed layout. Here we can see that PubMed searched for our term in many different fields. When it says all fields, it's telling you that it searched almost all available text within PubMed for your search terms. You'll notice it also searched for your terms as MeSH terms. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings and is PubMed's standardized subject vocabulary. Whenever possible, PubMed tries to match keywords that you enter with one of its standardized subject terms to help you find articles that you may not otherwise have found. Let's pause here for a second and talk more about MeSH terms. To better understand how MeSH works, let's back up and take a look at details of the individual articles. Let's take a look at this one. We can see all the typical citation information here, plus the abstract or summary. Another detail you can view is the MeSH terms added to each record. To view these terms, click the plus sign at the bottom. Professional indexers at the National Library of Medicine actually read each article in PubMed and tag them with the most appropriate MeSH terms. Why are these subject headings so important? Here's a simple example to start with. Let's say you want to find all the articles that are about cancer. Authors use a variety of terms to refer to cancer. Cancer, tumor, neoplasms, and that doesn't include specific types of cancers. If you can identify a MeSH term for your keyword and search just the MeSH term field in PubMed, you can quickly do a fairly thorough yet focused and relevant search. The search is thorough because PubMed knows if you search by the MeSH term cancer, you're also interested in articles that discuss tumors and neoplasms. The search is focused and results tend to be very relevant because it weeds out articles that might simply mention cancer and aren't really about cancer. Also, you don't have to try to think of every possible term an author might use for cancer. So, whenever you're doing a comprehensive search, your first goal should be to try to find any MeSH term that relates to your topic. There are several different ways to do this. One way is to do exactly what we've done so far. Do a keyword search, as you're probably familiar doing, view the search details, and see what MeSH terms PubMed has translated your search terms to. Just be careful with this approach, because PubMed doesn't always guess correctly about the best possible MeSH term. Another way to find potentially useful MeSH terms is to try to find a very relevant sounding article and see what MeSH terms it was tagged with. One tip when you're doing this is to find an article that says indexed for Medline. Any article that doesn't have this statement underneath it has not been assigned MeSH terms yet. You'll notice that a couple of these articles, for example, are e-publications ahead of print. So keep this in mind. If you want to check for brand new articles on a topic, a keyword search, which is the kind of search we've done here, is still the only way to find articles in PubMed before they have been tagged with MeSH terms. Okay, so going back to our current task of finding a relevant article for which we can get MeSH term ideas. This article here looks really relevant. From looking at the MeSH terms for the article, we can see that we might want to consider a different term for autism spectrum disorders. 
child development disorders, comma, pervasive may be the best MESH term for ASD, and cognitive therapy may be the MESH term to use for cognitive behavior therapy. The terms after the backslash are called subheadings. We'll talk more about those in a minute, but they are essentially narrower aspects of a MESH term. Also, terms with a star or asterisk after them are ones that the indexers have identified as being a major focus of the article. Now I want to show you a third way to find MESH terms for your topic. PubMed has a feature called the MESH database. This feature will search the entire list of MESH terms and suggest MESH terms for you. To access the MESH database, we need to return to the PubMed homepage. We can do that by scrolling up to the top and clicking on the PubMed icon in the top left corner. In the search blank at the top, we can enter a term we want to look up. Let's start with Cognitive Behavior Therapy. Click Search. Keep in mind that this part of PubMed is not searching for articles, it's searching for MeSH terms. In this case, the MeSH database has only found one suggestion for us, and it's the term we saw earlier on the record for that systematic review article that sounded perfect for our topic. The advantage of the MeSH database is that you can view many details about a MeSH term. You can read a brief description of the term to get a better sense of what the professional indexers mean when they apply this tag to an article record. You also have the option to select subheadings or narrower aspects of a term for your search. This checkbox allows you to narrow your search to articles for which a MeSH term is a major focus. If you remember when we saw the MeSH terms that were starred back on the systematic review article we found, those starred terms were major topics. This checkbox can be very helpful when you're looking for a good way to narrow your search. The entry terms are basically synonyms for the given MeSH term. These are all the different keywords that PubMed translates to or maps to this particular MeSH term, cognitive therapy. At the bottom of the page for a MeSH term is what's called the MeSH tree that shows you where the given MeSH term falls within the entire MeSH term hierarchy. Being able to view this hierarchy can be extremely helpful when you're trying to think of ways to narrow or broaden your search. It's easy to look here to see what the more specific or broader term would be. Let's do another search in the MeSH database. In a real search, I would now search for autism spectrum disorders. However, I'm going to search for autism because I want to show you what it looks like when the MeSH database offers several term suggestions. In this case, the MeSH database found eight MeSH terms that may be related to autism. Usually, the most relevant MeSH terms are listed at the top, but not always, so it's a good idea to scan the list fairly thoroughly. This results list shows us the definition of each MeSH term. If we want to review the complete details of one of these MeSH terms, we can click on the hyperlinked term. Our previous PubMed search showed us that PubMed translated autism spectrum disorders to child development disorders pervasive, so we can click on that term. You'll notice that this page is formatted exactly like the page we saw for cognitive therapy. Keep in mind that there will not always be an appropriate MeSH term for every concept. If that's the case, just use the keywords you've come up with and let PubMed search for that term in all fields as it does by default. You'll also want to try searching with synonyms for your keyword since authors may refer to it in different ways and there may be British spellings for your keyword. For practice, try looking up the term anxiety in the MeSH database in the same way we've done here. This concludes this introduction to selecting MeSH terms for your PubMed search. For more information on searching PubMed, visit this guide created specifically for OT653. And don't hesitate to ask the SHIP Library Liaison Susan Smith if you need help, or use the library's Ask a Librarian service.